Africa and especially in Uganda. This man has killed a lot of us. Nobody gets to see this. Yet you see what's happening in Ukraine. It's very fair what's happening in Ukraine. The sound happens on a larger scale in Uganda. But you always see Ukraine. You don't see this. The murder the Ugandan dictator of Museveni has committed and not covered by any international organizations. What we do is citizen, citizen terrorism. People stop UK, Europe, stop funding our debt. We are not asking for money. We are the opposition. We are well resourced. We have the money. We have the human resource. We can fight back. Mubarak met his day. People fought back. That's what we are doing. We are fighting back. We can take on the seven. If UK is so bad in the dictator, today marks three years when he killed and killed a lot of us. And he killed us in numbers. You can't ever come up to say, ask for accountability for the murders. Can you be everywhere? Can you be Kunga Uganda? Kunga Uganda? Kunga Chakurani? Kunga Chakurani? Okay, now to get you into what the murder of Sudim in Uganda has done, especially the dictator of Seven. He has killed Central, Eastern, Western, Northern Uganda. Museveni has committed more crimes than Putin. Yet all you see on TV is Putin. Putin is covered by the media. And Museveni of Uganda, nobody covers the murders. They are strapped under the cattle. BBC never covers this. Sky never shows this. ABC in America never shows this. Yet the murders still happen. Our brothers were killed today. Over a hundred were slaughtered. And we are not listening. We are not asking for funds. Stop having him with money and guns. Stop claiming his officers. You can't claim the officers that kill us. You can't find the boots and the uniforms they wear. You can't find the cars they drive. You can't. One is the prisons. The only government in Uganda has been prisons. He has never built anything other than prisons. Stop burning our death. Today marks three years when he shot in cold blood over 100 people in two hours. Nobody has ever come up to say anything. The only 30 minutes on BBC they say massacre in Kampala. And that's all. Please. Stop being spectators when we are dying. We don't want your media. Since you've not covered the dictator who has been power for 40 years, we don't want you to cover him while we take him on. Put out. We can take on the matter. We have the capacity. We have the resources. We have the human resource. We have the financial resource. We have the grid. We have the people, we have the money. Stop funding the dictator. The same dictator killed people in Zivaris in West Uganda. In Western Uganda, he killed the monarchy. Over, over 200 people were killed. In Northern Uganda, he killed over a million people. And in Eastern Uganda, he massacred people in train work and Zimbabwe. And then you kill it quiet. Mustafa of Uganda is a murderer. He is a murderer. He's killed us. We don't look at us as brothers when we stand here. We are not asking for money. People behind me here are all professionals. Doctors, engineers, pilots. We are not asking for money. We have the money. All we need is stop burning the dictator. We can take him all. We are well resourced. With human resource and knowledge and finance. So when you look at us, don't look at us as coppers asking for money. We stop him for stop burning the dictator. Who is killing us? He is killing us using money for taxpayers' 
from UK, a national center of Uganda. The embassy should have been here. It is a crime scene. It's the Uganda embassy that facilitates our murder. And the murder that is from the UK facilitates these murders. It buys the uniforms for the soldiers in Uganda, buys the boots, buys the guns. Stop finding and we can take out the dictator. We have the capacity. Just like the Egyptians did with Mubaraka, we can do even better because we are more determined. We are more determined to take out the dictator of Uganda, UA Museveni. If you don't know, we have the worst dictator than Putin. You thought it, I mean, it was bad. To us, he's a saint. Museveni is a murderer. Amin constructed beauty and infrastructure. Museveni has reversed all that. And then you still find him. Stop finding Museveni. And you'll be everywhere. Kunga Uganda. Kunga Uganda. Thank you for listening. the UK, we are standing here in this good weather today, not because the weather is good for us, but today we want to commemorate over 300 Ugandans who were murdered today by the brutal dictator of Uganda, Musebe. We are calling on the international community to stop the ban of this brutal dictator, to stop the buy of uniform to the Uganda military thugs who are killing Uganda, who are murdering Uganda, who are torturing Uganda, who are raping women in Uganda, who are sacrificing our young brothers in Uganda. And that's why we are standing here to let the world know that Uganda is not safe for you, that you are the next candidate to death. We are calling on you. To stand with the 47 million Ugandans in the corner of this good of the state of Uganda. To live in Ghana for Ugandans. Ugandans have been living under this brutal dictator for the last 40 years. We have been tortured and we are still being tortured by the brutal dictator of Uganda. Museve, we are calling on the international community, maybe the UK, to stop the training of the military attacks from Uganda, to stop the uniform supplies in Uganda, the guns which we are used today to murder over 300 Ugandans that we are from the UK and Europe. That's why today we are standing here not because it's a good day for us, but we need and we want the international community to know that the brutal dictator of Uganda is worse than Putin of Russia. We want you to understand that the seven of Uganda he has killed more than two million Ugandans. We need you to understand that the seven of Uganda is a murderer. We want you to understand that the dictator of Uganda is the worst criminal on this planet Earth. People power, our power, MUP, everywhere. We can be five of us, but we are representing 47 suffering million Ugandans. Women in Uganda have been raped on daily basis. Men in Uganda have been tortured. Boys have been sodomized under this brutal regime. When we talk about Uganda, we don't talk anything good about Uganda. Only suffering caused by the long term brutal dictator seven of Uganda. 40 years in power is more than enough. 40 years of dictatorship in Uganda 
has brought millions of Uganda out of Uganda. Ugandans cannot afford even a one pound paracetamol under this brutal regime. It's only in Uganda where the government doesn't build hospitals and schools, but they build prisons instead. It's only in Uganda. A charge of 47 